now we are going to talk about third party libraries and we're going to add the third party library from pub.dev so for that uh, what we will do is uh, we are going to use the auto size text uh, library which you could see uh, so what it does is it just resizes the text font size uh, based on the length and height uh, that is available on the screen or the one that is provided by us so uh, for this uh, let's uh, just install it first inside blub so to install it just right click anywhere and choose add package click on it and just search auto text auto size text so just hit install now it is installed and now what we have to do is uh, we just have to go in the example and let's just use this one i just copy it from here and paste it over here and in place of returning word just make it a widget name child and make it a returnable widget which is over here now we just have to use this main child so let me just close it down go over here now you could go on this my custom widget and see this main child click on it you have this one and it is going to be passed inside this rectangle so now let's just run it so now that it has been built uh, you could see it says this string is automatically resized to fit two lines so uh, let's see the code once and over here uh, you could see the width is 200 so if i would just make it 100 uh, and let's see what changes it will have so i will just run it go over here and you could see it has been automatically set for this one uh, i think uh, what we can do is in place of just making it max line i think there is something called font size as well so we could set max and minimum font size minimum font size is here and i think lines are there okay so not let's not move this one and max font size oh, i think we need the minimum one uh let's make it eight So you could see uh, it has been resized to uh, this to fit it inside uh, these numbers and it has been turned to it so um, what i'm trying to show over here is like you could use any third party libraries from the pub.dev and over here that is what we have done and it is very simple you just have to right click go on the add package add your package and start using it inside the custom code and when you need it and just write down this kind of a uh, code we have widget child pass in the whatever you have done and when you go back to the logic panel just connect it with the rectangle and pass it inside the child and if it is this one is the rectangle it will show inside this rectangle just like you could see over here and this debug uh, sticker is coming because we are using material app if you don't use this material app you would not see that sticker and uh, yeah other ways to just pass in a variable which says debug uh, show checked mode banner just make it false it will not show up okay